Some of us have been privileged to encounter esoteric wisdom. Some still mire in spiritual poverty, following religions like Islam, Christianity, Judaism, which brought enslavement, colonization, and the near destruction of African spirituality all over the earth. To shun our ancestral esoteric or metaphysical gift and its profound insight is to groom ignorance, dumbness, daftness, being a champ and idiotic ignoramus. Let's uh, look at the deadly cost of what you know. This is how Islam treated innocent enslaved Africans who had never attacked it. They enslaved us up to about the 1920s or 1960s and they still continue with the slave trade. And the Muslims that did all this read by the Quran, prayed five times a day and they thought that this was good business for them. If you tolerate this kind of a religion in your life and follow it believing that you have found some truth and ignore what it has done on your race and convert to Islam, you shall suffer the consequences of the deadly cost of what you know. Same thing with Christianity. Knowing or not knowing how it treated innocent enslaved Africans and he is the spirit behind our current suffering and colonization brings about the deadly cost of what you know. If you tolerate it by converting and preaching Jesus or thinking that this is the way, you shall suffer serious consequences even if you enjoy the promise of going to heaven or wherever. Ignorant or otherwise, these preachers who are saying Africa for Jesus are still continuing and they will reap the deadly cost of what they know and their actions because they are continuing promoting the slave ship mentality. It was the first ship to take people across from Africa into the Americas was called Jesus. There was scriptural justification used to support slavery and the spirit operated within Christianity. Many slave ships had on board a Christian minister to help oversee and bless the passage. Slave ships were named like Jesus, Grace of God, the Angel, Liberty and Justice. So they are continuing to teach the same things that our brothers and sisters and our ancestors suffered and the deadly cost of what they are doing and what they know shall visit them. The same thing continues with our understanding because for most of us, this gift of knowing esoteric mysteries and the sacred knowledge means that we need not fail deliberately to enact its profound insights. We need not fail to carry its metaphysical demands because there will be consequences that transcend the mundane into the sublime. Considerations should extend beyond the tangible into the ethereal, wherein the repercussions e will echo through the corridors of one's spiritual existence. So we want to say there are a number of items that we are going to look into which are the deadly costs of what you know. This includes number one, stagnation of spiritual ascendance. Number two, forced reincarnations in many lifetimes. Number three, disconnection from the divine tapestry. Number four, denied entry into the ethereal realms. And number five, abyss of metaphysical vacants. So let's look at the first one, the stagnation of spiritual ascendance. The esoteric repository of transformative wisdom offers you a path towards spiritual ascendance. Yet to neglect the implementation of this arcane law is to stagnate and to descend downwards from the higher states of consciousness and thereby forfeiting your transcendental journey towards enlightenment and uh, rising up to be a divine uh, being. Number two, false reincarnations in many lifetimes. Entwined with the fabric of esoteric traditions, there is the intricate thread of spiritual indebtedness, a cosmic force weaving its way through the tapestry of existence. If you fail to align your actions today and your knowledge and the gift that you have been given to know 
the esoteric and the mysteries of our ancestors you are bathing repercussions and casting shadows and aspersions across the whole tapestry of your successive incarnations if you are to incarnate again until you break out and not fall under forced reincarnations number three disconnection from the divine tapestry the chasm will operate you become spiritually disconnected and think that jesus muhammad the quran the bible has connected you to something divine but it has connected you to something that was already capturing and destroying a, and being destructive to your life because esoteric wisdom often unveils the threads that weave the individual into the cosmic tapestry into the divine to falter in this application and in its application will result in a, your disconnection from your ancestral lineage and bloodline that goes beyond Muhammad, that goes beyond Jesus, that goes beyond Yahweh, that goes beyond anything else that you can name as a deity, as a divinity to the unknowable, who is sublime, who is eternal, who is beyond any cosmic thinking that you can have. So we look at the fourth one, which is uh, being disconnected from the your entry into the spiritual realms and the falling into depth and the depths of a trajectory down from metaphysical heights because esoteric knowledge or the knowledge that you've come to know the metaphysical knowledge that you've come to know and the mysteries that you've come to know your ancestral mysteries that you've come to know should evoke a retreat from the a three realms that traps your soul and puts you on a trajectory towards metaphysical heights and you find yourself adrift in the vastness of existential depths distanced from these other spheres that traps your consciousness you can only do that using the keys that comes via your ancestors and your correct and righteous divinities let's look at the fifth one the last one abyss from metaphysical vacancy the esoteric brings a beacon of illumination brings the metaphysical reality and renders important the, those revelations that makes your soul remain dormant or puts your soul into stasis the soul confronts the looming specter of metaphysical vacancy by allowing you to come in contact or to come in contact with the divine wisdom and divine knowledge and uh, mysteries if you fail to collect and connect and resonate with the sublime promptings of your soul you will suffer the consequences of the knowledge that would have limited you from realizing this transformative ability and capacity within your aku within your soul within your car remember the body is the temple of the divinities and if you know yourself you shall ascend do not be trapped by others who neglect other areas of ancestral knowledge like Asian Khamit, others who call the book of coming forth by day mumbo jumbo and belittle it whereas it is the book that is giving us wisdom and capacity and ability to transcend and it is also the same source that is giving those that are using negative power against us these are the truths that others are being denied and being duped and deceived some come through and understand metaphysical knowledge but because of their dullity and dumbness and daftness they ignore and fall in the abyss of metaphysical vacancy they become empty and think that batwasa or they were initiated with some spirit that causes them to limit themselves and not to see a cosmic or global or earthward image or picture the deadly cost of what you know falls seriously on those who shun our ancestral esoteric or metaphysical gifts and its profound insights and their grooming eternal ignorance becoming culturally dull dumb daft champs idiotic ignoramuses rather than so with its extraordinary tune the linger in the mundane room denying its transformative boom this gift of divine nurture 
stretches beyond mere flirtations of insights but becomes the real grasp of the tangible weaving into the fabric of the ethereal. Here, the repercussions reverberate through the corridors of our spiritual existence, resonating with the very essence of our being and our status as per what we know and what we have done with what we know. So let's look at how you can delve into uh, this because what we have said is very, very crucial, very, very somber. To delve deeper into this journey of self-discovery and metaphysical understanding, we want to invite you to join Marifado Family Network. For real, you can do so by sending us an email on joinatmarifado.com so that you start to embark on a path that goes beyond contemplation, offering a tangible connection to a community of seekers, thinkers, and explorers. A vital spiritual shared journey toward unlocking the mysteries of existence, gaining insights that have the potential to elevate not just our individual consciousness, but the collective consciousness of humanity. Your inquiry, your perspective, and your presence contribute to the evolving tapestry of knowledge and enlightenment, and you will never suffer the consequences of what you know. Yes, you can join us in this exploration of the esoteric where the profound becomes actionable and the extraordinary becomes a shared reality together let us navigate the corridors of wisdom unlocking the metaphysical treasures that await those willing to embark on the transformative odyssey send an email again to join at marfado.com and let the journey begin the deadly cost of what you know is real yes it carries an accountability tag. What you do with what you know matters. If it's ignorance, it will be deadly and it will be a dead, have deadly dire consequences. Like if you become an African Christian, a black Jew, or follow Islam, black Islam, or nation of Islam, thinking that you have found your culture, there are deadly consequences that you are going to face in the afterlife. Yes, consider seriously the deadly cost of what you know, because it is very, very critical and important. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. So if you are interested, for more information, do not hesitate to email us on join at marifado.com. Till we meet again, remember, there is a deadly cost of what you know. Until... We meet again. Have a great day. Your hammer manager Topi, prestigious rabbi, Erem Dumis, Kunikarim Jakanja, says, Have a great time. Ameni.